The natural world is an ever-changing, ever-shifting beast. Mountains rise, valleys form, glaciers meander across the landscape. The face of our planet is malleable, ever-moving. But if we ask you to name the strangest natural phenomena on Earth, chances are that nobody would say water. Bad move. But before we get started, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. Potomac River just outside Washington, D.C., the Potomac River Gorge is a 14-mile stretch that extends from the Key Bridge in the District of Columbia North to the Great Falls of the Potomac. The gorge is a popular site for outdoor activities like kayaking, boating, fishing and hiking enthusiasts, but there's no doubt that this river is deadly. The water rushing through the Potomac River creates roiling underwater currents in even the calmest-looking places. The river's currents can quickly capture swimmers, waders and people who slip and fall into the water to never ever get fooled by its placid look. Lake Karache Lake Karache has been called the most polluted place on Earth. During the 1950s, the lake was used as a dumping site for radioactive materials from a nearby nuclear waste storage and reprocessing facility. A string of accidents and disasters contaminated the surrounding area even further, causing 65% of the local residents to fall ill with radiation sickness. Some parts of the lake are so dangerous that they could deliver a lethal dose of radiation in an hour. Lake Karachay is slowly being filled with concrete and soil in an effort to seal the radiation, but it's not a holiday destination we're eager to visit. Amazon Basin, South America The Amazon Basin stretches across South America, covering nearly 40% of the continent in the countries of Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Guyana, Peru, Suriname and Venezuela. A mind-boggling array of flora and fauna call the basin and the Amazon rainforest home. A mind-boggling number of them also want to kill you. Dare to dive in the water here and you could meet your end courtesy of eels, piranhas, alligators, anacondas or the kandiru, a parasitic freshwater catfish that reportedly has a nasty habit of invading openings in the human body. Sitarum River, Indonesia Unfortunately, the reason why Sitarum River is deadly is because of something man-made – garbage. The place is so filled with non-biodegradable waste and harmful chemicals that it's known to be the world's most polluted river. There are over 200 textile factories lying in the riverbanks and the dyes and chemicals like arsenic and mercury are all dumped in the river. Combine this with the millions of residents who treat the river as a huge trash bin and for sure no one's crazy enough to drink the water from this dump site. Ijen. What would hell look like if it were on Earth? Well, you don't have to look far, just fly down to East Java in Indonesia. Lake Kawa Ijen is something very close to hell. The thick smoke billowing from beneath the surface and the almost ominous bluish flames are sure to strike fear in most of us. Look something straight from Mordor. But let us put your mind at ease. It's just volcanic gas pushing through the cracks in the ground and nothing insidious. During daytime, the blue lake looks almost inviting, but don't be fooled. Kawa Ijen is known as the largest acid lake in the world, and anything with acid in it is probably a good idea to steer clear of. This lake is strictly off-limits. Lake Nios Here's another example of a seemingly beautiful lake on the outside, but holds a terrifying secret on the inside. Lake Nios in the Republic of Cameroon looks like any other idyllic spot, and rightfully so. Look at the clear blue water and the surrounding foliage. Looks like a great vacation spot, right? But what you're not seeing is the copious amounts of toxic carbon monoxide bubbling from below the lake's murky depths. The thing is, this lake is situated right on top of an old volcano at a depth of 50 miles, and the toxic gas is pumped up through this volcano's mouth and up to the surface. So what happens when you come in contact with carbon monoxide? Well, this. It's not pretty. Better cross this one off the list on your itinerary during your trip to Cameroon. Lake Shigan Soviet scientists were a creative bunch and one day decided to play with nature. Lake Shigan in Kazakhstan was the byproduct of a nuclear explosion which created a 400 meter wide and 100 meter deep crater. This crater was later fed by the Shigan River and became the lake you see now. After the initial explosion, the radiation levels peaked at 8,000 times above normal. Scientists tried to introduce various types of life into the lake, but most of them died off because of the high radiation levels. The ones which survived mutated and became even larger than normal. Though the radiation levels have dropped significantly since the creation of this lake, local authorities advise against consuming any fish caught from here. Pool of Death – Queen's Bath This is the Queen's Bath in Hawaii. This natural bathtub looks perfect for a dip, but don't let that fool you. The inhabitants of the island of Kauai have named it the Pool of Death, a more fitting name for its true nature. 
This group of swimmers didn't know what they were getting into when they decided to swim inside the pool. Out of nowhere, the water recedes quickly and two of the swimmers get pulled down with the water. The third one plunges down into the pool in an attempt to save his friends from the looks of it. The pool quickly floods back up along with the waves and now all three are swimming for their lives. They not only have to fight against the force of the ocean waves but also have to be careful about not getting smashed on the rocks. Luckily, all three managed to make it out alive in the end. Looks like they've learned their lesson and probably understood why the locals called it the Pool of Death. New Smyrna Beach If the movie Jaws were real, it probably would have happened at this beach in Florida. New Smyrna Beach is probably one of the most dangerous beaches in the world and for good reason. Those black spots you see are all sharks. Not a great sight to see at a beach when you're getting ready to go for a swim or a surf. According to a study, in the past 70 years there have been over 1,483 cases of sharks attacking humans in the United States, and 240 of them happened at this very beach. If that doesn't discourage you, keep coming back to this footage. Nazare, Portugal If you're a surfer who's always on the lookout for the next big wave, the Nazare Beach in Portugal is the place for you. Waves here can reach up to 100 feet, and Tom Butler managed to surf through it. Just look at him go! It's like being chased by a massive sea monster. But don't let this footage fool you. Many who've tried to ride the waves here have had bad experiences. So, don't attempt this if you're a lightweight when it comes to surfing. Solstrauman Maelstrom Norway, the land of the Vikings, and this monstrosity. The Solstrauman Strait is infamous for these powerful whirlpools which appear four times a day. They reach a diameter of 32.8 feet and a depth of 16.6 .6 feet and are not to be trifled with. If you're the unlucky one to get caught in one, get ready to be sucked in like it's a black hole. You can see this boat narrowly escaping this phenomenon as the whirlpool slowly catches up with them. Not even boats are safe from this occurrence. Blue Hole Dahab The blue hole on the Egyptian beach of Dahab is probably a diver's biggest nightmare. The initial entrance seems small, but this tunnel is actually 82 feet long and also houses a powerful underwater current. The Blue Hole reaches to a maximum depth of around 328 feet underwater through confusing caverns and is probably a place not to enter with reckless abandon. One of the main dangers of diving here is how divers get stuck fighting the currents and end up spending too much time underwater. This leads to a depleted oxygen supply and being stuck underwater for too long. Decompression sickness is another big problem with divers. It's no surprise why this spot is considered as one of the most dangerous diving spots in the world. So, definitely avoid this place during your visit to Dahab, the Dead Sea. Though the Dead Sea may seem like an impossible place to drown, thanks to the buoyancy it gives swimmers in its salty waters, it was actually named the second most dangerous place to swim in Israel. You can absolutely drown in the Dead Sea, just not in the normal way. When a person's floating on their back, there's no problem. But if they turn around and start floating on their stomach, the water is so dense that it can be hard to stand up or even push the limbs down into the water to turn on their back again. If you do want to try your luck at floating along the Dead Sea, it's always safer to head to an area where there's a lifeguard on duty. Rio Tinto Originating in the Sierra del Huelva Mountains of Andalusia in the town of Nerva, Spain's Red River runs through the southwestern region of the country. For approximately 5,000 years, copper, gold, silver and other minerals have been mined along the river. Rio Tinto is still a beautiful place to visit, but not swim though, because the river's ecosystem of bacteria that oxidizes metals found in the water causes the water to turn a poignant bright red. The high acidity keeps people away from the waters, but draws scientists in. Extremophile aerobic bacteria in the water provide conditions similar to those found in other areas in the solar system, such as Jupiter's moon Europa. Life in the Rio Tinto, bacteria feeding on iron and sulfide minerals in the river's subsurface rocks, makes the likelihood of life on Europa all the more possible. We're almost at the end of our list, but before moving on to number one, here is an interesting video which is worth checking out. Seafoam might seem like an odd thing to see on a beach, but these are not an uncommon sight here on the Australian coast. The foam has taken over large swathes of the beach because of a tropical cyclone which passed through Australia. These foams are actually impurities in the ocean that get pushed up by the powerful storm currents and finally come to the surface and rest on the beach. It might look like fun to play with, but best not to since they are dirt after all. Mount Kelimutu In the island of Flores in Indonesia, Mount Kelimutu is the set of three pristine lakes in the national park of the same name. These lakes are the results of volcanic eruption and all are of different colours – blue, turquoise and even black. 
Well, if you're thinking that this is the mystery of this place, then I suggest you hold on. These are one of those colours in which you can expect to see the lakes. Sometimes, the colours even change to white or red because of the proximity of each lake with the underlying volcano. However, the change of their hue is unpredictable. Tourists have also seen one of these lakes in dark brown colour. Unbelievable, right? You familiar with such dangerous water bodies in your country? If so, let us know in the comments. For more such amazing content, be sure to hit the like button, share and subscribe. Later!